this is Mrs. Jordan. I hope everyone is healthy and doing well and working hard. I know I am and my family is, but I sure do miss seeing you all in the classroom and doing fun activities with you and building things. So today I'm here to continue a science lesson. Last week I talked about the life cycle of animals and how many animals start um, in an egg and then they hatch and become a baby of some type, whether it's a tadpole um, or a chick or just a baby human. And then they turn into children and adults and a senior and the whole cycle continues on and on and on. Well, that was fun. And I have another life cycle I wanna to talk to you today about, and it's about plants. All right, so Mrs. Jordan spent some time this morning making a diagram of the life cycle of a plant, which I'm gonna go through really quickly with you, and then I'm going to show you what they look like in real life. So. Usually a plant starts with a seed. A seed is in the ground and once it gets water and it's nice and warm, the seed will start to germinate. Germinate means that the seed grows into a little sprout. You could see the seed here and it's growing a little sprout and I'm going to show you that in a moment. Then once it gets more water and the sun, it will start growing roots and a stem you can see here the little roots growing down and the roots are used to suck up the water to help the plant grow. And then the stem is going to come out of the soil, the top of the soil. And it's going, hopefully the plant gets more water, not too much, but just enough, and sunlight, and it will turn into a seedling. A seedling is similar to a baby, a baby plant. And it will start growing leaves and through the leaves, it will make its own food with the sun in a process called photosynthesis, which is a very complicated process, but it's the way that the plant makes its own energy through food by using the sun. After the seedling continues to get more water and sunlight, it will start growing into an adult plant and hopefully eventually having a flower. Some plants will have a fruit as well. And the flower is then, hopefully, it will get pollinated. Pollinated means that either a bee or an animal brushes against the flower or the wind blows the flower. So the pollen from this flower will move to pollen of other flowers, which will help the plant make its own seeds. Once a plant makes its own seeds, usually the wind will start to blow the seeds around. You might see that in a dandelion. It will start getting those white seeds and the wind will blow the dandelion seeds around and then the seeds will end up in the ground again and it will start the cycle of growing a plant all over again. Let's look and see what these parts of the plant life cycle look like in real life. Okay, the first part we're going to look at is very small. It is the seed. This is the seed of a sunflower plant, which most of you are probably familiar with a sunflower plant. So this is the part that goes in the ground and waits for water and a little bit of warmth. So that is the first part of the life cycle of a plant, which is the seed. Once the seed is nice and warm and it has some water, it will start to germinate. Germinate is just means it's coming out of its little seed and just barely coming up out of the soil. You can see that this is a plant that is starting to germinate. Okay, once a seed germinates and it gets sunlight and some water, it will start turning into a seedling. Some of you planted some of these last year and I know some people planted these and they grew all the way to adulthood and this is a tomato plant. 
that is starting to grow. This is a seedling like a baby plant. closest I have to an, um, an adult flower or plant inside my house. I do have some outside, some early bloomers called daffodils and tulips, but this is my sunflower plant. After about two weeks, it germinated, it turned into a seedling, and you can see it's growing up tall, so tall that I put pipe cleaners in here in order to make it or help it grow up straight. So I'm going to have to put something taller in here very soon to help this plant grow even taller and straight. Otherwise, it might start bending down, and I don't want it to do that. So this is getting to, it's in between the seedling stage and before it turns to an adult, and eventually it's going to have a flower. I'll show you a picture of what a sunflower looks like when it does have a flower. This is what a sunflower looks like when it has seeds in it. See, the life cycle of plants are pretty simple, and there's definitely a pattern where they start as a seed, then they germinate a seedling, and then turn to an adult plant, and eventually flower and make new seeds. So it's really easy to grow your own plant. I didn't go out and buy anything fancy. This is just, um, I think it's mandarin oranges. It used to be a container and I cut it in half and I flipped the top half over and put it in the bottom half. Ooh, what's growing out of the bottom of this? Those are roots. Look at that, it's germinating. It already has some pretty big roots coming out of the bottom. And then I put it upside down I didn't even buy the soil. I went out and I dug the soil up in a spot and I had some seeds from last year. You can probably get seeds from someone around or around your house. Um, just see what you could do. Ask people and you'll probably be able to find a seed and then put the seed in there, cover it just with a little bit with some soil, give it a little bit of water and a nice warm temperature for a little while until it starts to germinate. And now I'm going to put this in the sun so it will start making its own energy. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video a little bit later in a week or two and show you how my plants are doing in their life cycle. All right, I miss you all again, and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will be back soon. Bye.